Kirk Franklin is breaking his foot off in somebody's ass. <laughs> Let that nigga have a whole phase. <laughs> Mr. C, we got to talk about the man. Okay, let's talk about it. <laughs> Uh, this is the game mode track. Hello, Wednesday. Happening, what's happening? Huh? What's happening? What's happening? What up, what up, huh? Praise the Lord, Make God bless. Sure. Yeah. Huh? What up, what up, what up? Goody, what's, goody? what's the word? Chilling, man. What's happening? What's happening? Making drinks, making drinks. Come on now. on gin and juice. Come on, <laughs> laid back with my mind on my money and my money on my mind. It's fucked up. My voice is still high. I still can't say laid back. <laughs> I'm like, laid, laid back. back. <laughs> I'm trying to force it out. Laid <laughs> back. What's goody, fellas? Talk What's going on? What's the another word? Week, What's the another word? week, another week, another week. Fact. Yep, yep, yep. As I stir my concoction. Okay, mm. okay, mm. okay. You out spell them. Ain't nothing wrong with a little spillage. Yeah, it I is. You got to clean it up. Shit. Facts. <laughs> Damn, niggas got to clean it up. Yo, would you be mad if your kid said that? Ain't nothing wrong with a little spillage, daddy. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't going to hold you. I feel like he going to punch him in his chest. Like, who the fuck you talking to? <laughs> Just a little spillage, daddy. <laughs> what the fuck is you talking about? You be all right. Oh man! Nah, but what's up though, man? Feeling good, feeling great. How are you? I'm, I'm feeling okay. Yeah, I'm yeah, not yeah. I'm, mm. How about yourself? We don't care about that. <laughs> anyway, how do I you took the yourself, vaccine. Sir? You know what I'm saying? You took, you the, took vaccine? the vaccine. Took the first one. I gotta take one more. Oh, Why you gotta take another one? You're a it's traitor. Two. Oh, it's two different ones. There's um, there's are the you pro vaccine? Huh? The, there's the Pfizer. There's three actually now. God there's damn the it! Johnson and Johnson one that oh, just came like out. The Johnson. There's okay, you got the Johnson. And then there's the Moderna. Wait, you got the Johnson and Johnson? You got no, two Johnsons? I didn't, no, I didn't oh, do okay. that one. You took two Johnsons. You was getting stuck. But um, <laughs> I took the Moderna, and it's a two-part vaccine. Two sticks. Y- two, yes. Two. two times. It's Eight. up and it's stuck with Bari, okay? Well, yeah, I took the vaccine yeah. um, Thursday. Okay. Did you feel I, any I, different? I, how, um, how are you feeling, sir? No, I did. Um, I would say... Thursday, I took it Thursday. Sunday is when I felt it. What you feel? Uh, your, your, jo- your job body. forced you? No, my job didn't force me. Oh, you, took, me. you took it knowing, like willingly. No, because I work in the healthcare yeah, yeah, you environment the and I'm yeah, front yeah. lines with them all day, every day. You was right. like, this is my best interest. Yeah, and like my mom was like, yo, can you just take it? I understand you don't want to. I get it. No, because your mom know you be outside. So she's like, if you're going to be in my house, right. you're going to need to Man. take that goddamn. It don't got Damn. nothing to do with that, no, but no, no, that's funny. That's she funny. was like, "Yo, I asked you to. Can you just take it for me? If if anything else, just take it from." I respect that. You yeah, yeah, no, nah, that's dope. But we did do, you? We do shit for mom. But what so did I you feel? It. What did you? Um, I did feel the Sunday. I took it the Thursday. I, the Sunday I woke up. What I did, did you feel? Um, I had a little mucus build up in my chest a little bit, and mm-hmm. I felt the muscle aches, the body aches for sure. The body aches. So kind of like, cause I mean, you you did have a COVID joint before. Yeah, before. In so is it, was it the same type of muscle aches? Is um, it wasn't to the. Ext- I think it wasn't as bad because you know what it feels like. It feels like you worked out your whole entire body. Mm. That's interesting. I would hate that. Yeah, I, but I don't the want difference no full is, body I don't want to say it like that, but because I work out, I'll be chunky. Want that. I don't know. Because I I'll work out be now. Fat. Because I work out now, it doesn't feel as bad. But I, I woke up and I felt like that, so I laid down for a bit, took some time and all, and then I woke up and I felt all right. Wow. But the one thing you do, one yeah. thing is that you do feel like you have a co- a little bit of a cold Damn. from the first vaccine. Them niggas gave you COVID on purpose. Oh, so what I'm saying is, you feel like that now? No, now I feel. Fine. Oh, so it, it only good. lasted like a couple of days? That's yeah. interesting. Okay. Like the first, it depends. Some people it affects the first shot. Some people it happens on the second one. Hey man, the first you don't succeed. <laughs> we gonna get you sick, brother. You know <laughs> like we, we are gonna get you sick. But the, <laughs> but the reason, the but that's the mur- that's the Moderna one. The Pfizer one is a. <laughs> this is so far The Fi- the Pfizer one is a one shot deal. Yeah. The one that everybody is uh, reluctant against is the Johnson and Johnson one. <laughs> Legit. I'd like, be, be reluctant to. Because two Johnsons. I don't want two Johnsons. I'm good. It, first of it just came out. Right. 
That's that's the number one reason. And it two just is popped out. I'm mad right. they already branding COVID vaccines like this though. Come on now, you knew that was going. It's happen. America, and the success right? Rate on the Johnson and Johnson one is not as high as the other two. So yeah, you okay. got two Johnsons and you're not successful. That's it's crazy. not that it's not successful. It's just that <laughs> it hasn't crazy. been around enough to prove that right. it's as good as the others. So. Who the hell is McDerna? Moderna. Is who is Moderna. that? I don't. I think it's probably the name of the companies. Okay, I didn't. Who did it? Who knows? So, but you so far you feel like you're good. good. Yeah. So you could be around people with with COVID, and you feel like somewhat. It's not until the second one. I'm about to say the shit still don't work because it's a two shot. It's a two. It's a two vaccine shot for the for the Moderna. If I'd have took the Pfizer, I'd have been be able to do whatever and been good. I don't trust for shit a fact. Pfizer, like though. not what they do is they actually actually also give you a a, a vaccine card, which I was telling y'all before. The moment mm. you do get the vaccine, yeah. You can walk around with it in countries. Once I sh- you can show it at the border or whatever. <laughs> you like, ah, ah, yeah, yeah. motherfucker, ah. I, I right, right. got the vaccine, motherfucker. And Yo, now that's what they did with the Jewish folks back in the Holocaust. Oh, wow. You have to wear a little star to let you know yeah. that you was Jewish. So now you have a little So star now we know the new hustle. I mean, I still have to take the COVID test. Nah, niggas going to be part. like, yo, I got them vaccine cards. What's up? That's the next thing. You already know. What? Facts. You already know. That's a fact. Two for 25. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> it's lit. Vaccine cards. It's going to be vaccine cards. And my man really took it, so it's the real shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> it's nothing but a photocopy, my nigga. White out of the photocopy. It's coming. It's no. coming. It's a fact. Because that's what wow. I heard they're going to start doing to go to Capitalism is hilarious. Yeah. yeah like that's fact, living so. in a capitalistic society is that's hilarious. Wild. That's wild. That is, that's, that's hilarious. That's yeah, wild. so. I mean, I wouldn't have taken it, but like I said, yeah. my mom's asked me to. Listen, so. when mom dukes ask you for something, I res- listen, fellas, hey, I when mom it. dukes ask you for something, make sure you do it. I mean, that's if mom If it wasn't dukes. for that, I, I put this on my life. There was no way I was going to take that. Yeah, and I'm, even I'm then, I was like, yo, I'm not going to, no, I'm not going to take it. I'm not taking it, no. I ain't, ain't going to hold you, even if my mom said that I ain't doing yeah, it. I'm but that's just me. That's just but it's just, but it, I love mom. I I love you. P O P. Hold it down. Scenario, because I don't want to get that morbid. Remember, my mom no, 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 was in the no, no, hospital yeah, with yeah, this yeah. shit. No, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. A week and a half, it's real shit. It's real and she it's thought she was going to die from it. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, all of that playing into the fact that she's like, "Yo, listen, this shit literally almost it, it took almost my took life. me out." Yeah, yeah. That's, so I, if there's I respect any it. way to like just prevent it or slow the process down, just no, I respect. For me, can you do that? And I was like, I respect. Presented with that, it's like, yeah, no, I get it. All right, I get it. You know what? I'll do that. It's just crazy because, bro, I talk to you every single day, every single week, and I never know this shit until Willow Wednesday. So, like, do you hold it back personally to tell a story? On the show? Yeah. Because if I tell you, Jason's a nigga that if you tell him over the phone, he'd be I'm like, Jason nigga, now. what? I'm Jason the Jason so there you go, Jason. What? Why would you do that? No, and that is me. You're right. That's, that's me. That's so me. So, save the savory accent for the camera. You know I'm saying? I mean, I hear it. I hear it. Okay. All right. Hey, brother. All right. Well, kudos, my man. All right. So. I, <laughs> I just don't want you out here growing a third leg, my nigga, or a third hey, hey, I do fucking that. nipple. Hey, you ever had I, three nipples? If uh. I, listen, if I grow something, if I grow something I don't want, H, the H, H, HCC owe me some money. What the fuck is HCC? The HHC. I mean, I'm sorry. Health hospitals. The city the hospital, oh. city hospitals. Oh, you know some shit I don't know. I'm yeah, like, so what the fuck is I that? I was like, right. hoes having characteristics. Yeah, 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 like, <laughs> hoes having characteristics. That's HAC to me. Listen, hey, hello. I'm <laughs> disabled for These hoes business. having characteristics. Collect, hey, I grow another finger Medicare for life. All right. Uh, listen, yeah, you have a lot of money to count your money. A lot of yeah, fingers. Yeah. I mean, I fucked it up, but yeah, a lot of fingers. Yeah, I did. I but know. it's still funny. Though. Yeah, it's still funny. It's slightly it funny. Fucked it up. It's not overly funny. Though. It's slightly. It's it would have. That shit ain't slightly. It would have hit. It would have hit. It would have hit. That <laughs> I missed the cool. shot. I that missed the shot. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what's up, man? Mediator, moderator, road call, selective extension, temporary lever, yes, half a gas station pill bar. What the fuck we talking about, man? Yes, sir. Uh, we are talking. Wait about a minute. Did we introduce ourselves? Yeah, we did. No, we didn't. No, the fuck we. I know. I'm, I know. I'm not bugging. We did. We didn't. We didn't. We didn't. Introduce, man. Introduction. Wow. Shout out, and Come that's Wade in the background, by the way. Just oh, shout out. No, we didn't. You know, we started talking first. Go that's ahead, introduce. For those who don't know, mm-hmm. I go by the undeniable name of Dame. Will never been a lame. Oh, it's your boy, that boy Bari, and this is Jay Willer, the podcast killer, aka podcast poppy, aka the pod father. And guess what? This is Willow Wednesdays, man. You about to get some ghetto news from your relationship gurus. Bow. Shout out to all the women. No point. Yeah, I got it, that one. I want to say shout out to all the women. It's Women History Month. Oh, definitely Women History oh, yeah, Month. Yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Shout out to ladies. I'm here because of shout, shout out to the ladies. Prayed for by black women. So. It's okay. a nice t-shirt. I, I see right. what you did there. You, you, it's it was covered up, but I get it. Yeah, you should take your jacket off so we can I see it. I am soon, 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 soon. When my elixir works. 
start wearing your Elixir. Heard it. Elixir. Yeah. All right. But yeah. That sounds like COVID talk. COVID you, free talk. You take yeah, elixirs. No, your peasants. I took the vaccine too. Oh. I'll, cool, be I'll, I'll be a peasant. I'll be a peasant. Peasant with all my limbs. All peasants. Like, I'll be a peasant yeah. with all my limbs. You feel me? I'll, I'll be a peasant. That's okay. The but mediator, moderator, roll call, select restriction, temporary lever, always toxic, half a gas station pill, I'm bar. Not. What the fuck are we talking about today? Talking about today, sir? Um, we talking about Mr. C. Oh. Mr. C. He had an interview with Mano. Shout out to Mano on shout Mano's Mano. podcast. But not shout out to Mr. C. I wasn't done. No, but you said Mr. I, C. I said shout out to Mano. He, I was still shouting out him in his podcast, okay, and I was okay. gonna say also shout out to Mr. C. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Jesus cool. Christ! Just checking. Don't don't shout, shout one out. Shout out the to other. Mr. C. Thank you for being on his podcast and Ooh. also coming out <laughs> and 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 clearing the air about a few things that he's <laughs> been in the news and the headlines for of the latter some <laughs> some previous years. So shout out to that. Shout yeah, out to yeah, Mr. C yeah. and him coming out and accepting who he is. I, I I applaud every man who's willing to come out and say who he is and accept who he is. Yeah, we'll talk about it. 100%. So shout That's out to that. That's what's up, man. No, so shout, shout out. About shout that. That. Um, but do you even need to shout that out? No, no, no. no. I, yeah, yeah. Now you have we'll, to. You have we'll to. Let you have to. Um, we'll let it go. We'll let it go. Go ahead. Um, what, 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 the other topic we're talking about is the uh, shit. What is it? The Kirk Franklin, Kirk man, Franklin, putting his yeah. foot in people's asses. Yeah, uh, I don't know <laughs> yeah. if you heard. Kirk Franklin had a call with his son. Yeah, his thirty-three-year-old son. To be honest, to be honest, I, I've been knew Kirk Franklin was cursing. Like, let's be honest. Why, on, you black nigga. church? Come on, Come on, my nigga. nigga. Come on, yeah. my nigga. Yo, can Come we be now. honest? Ch- church yeah. folk is some of the most sideways, backwards, backsliding. Who said that yeah. you can't curse as, a, cur- as no, a church person? No, but what I'm saying is they, they're some of the worst. They some of the worst people. Yeah. Damn. And they, they, they throw God in front of you. Like, ah, God. It's like, yeah, no, yeah. but you're terrible. Right. Yeah, I got to agree there. So like, in life. Kirk Franklin so was... So I knew for a fact oh, Kirk Franklin was snorting coke and, and doing oh, all that shit. I, 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 I right know now. for a fact Kirk right, Franklin didn't. snort coke. But oh, he said he had a sex addiction. Oh, okay. Lord. You and Ebony <laughs> and Jerry had a sex addiction. Wow. Okay. Heard it. Porn, Porn. sex, whatever it is. Porn but yeah, he, addiction. He was caught on the phone with his Cussing his kid out. Cussing his oldest son, Makes his sense. oldest yeah. son from his first kid marriage. Be like that. He was on coke. So we're gonna. <laughs> so, <laughs> nah, don't do that. Don't do that. No, 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 Whoa. Do that. We're gonna talk Dang. about that. We're gonna talk he was about on that. Coke, nigga. And he's also, a uh, cokehead. <laughs> we're gonna talk about men having a whole phase. All right. Okay. If you had one, yeah. Do you feel that men need one? Mm-hmm. If you don't, mm-hmm. and all the things that fall yeah, into yeah. place when it comes on to that. With as well. it. Okay. Cool. All right. Let's I, get I it, like that topic. I do like that. Let's get it. I do like that. What are we talking about? Willow Wednesday. Hey, man, play the damn song. Temporary level. Always toxic. Half a gas station pill. I want to talk about Kirk. I think I want to talk about Kirk first. Oh, you want to talk about Kirk first? Yes, 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 yes. Okay. So we got a clip on that? In the recent week, Kirk Franklin came out in a situation cursing his 33-year-old son out. (laughs) I don't know. You keep saying his age. (laughs) No, because I feel like that's a vital part. You feel like that's important? Because a lot of people thought. Yeah, a lot of people thought that it was his son. His like, son like was his like son. 17. Yeah, because he got he got a younger like kid. Yeah. He has a son that's yeah. 33 years old. That a lot head. of people don't know. Mm-hmm. So he was caught cursing his son out, and and people were you in an uproar. Uh, white people, black people, Christian people were in an uproar. Son, that's how you talk to a black king. You yeah, don't yeah. raise him up that way. Letting him let me, let me, let me. To the point where he, uh, uh, to the point where he apologized and said, yeah. "I'm sorry." Yo, that should. No, I think we should play the clip. I'm gonna play the clip real quick. Let's play the clip. We'll be with you. Okay, if you think I'm ready to sit, but let me say it like this. When your bitch ass starts to do shit that disrespect you, you need to get your skinny motherfucking ass back out the uh, goddamn way before I put my foot in your ass. Because I, I dare you. I dare you. I dare you. I dare you. Shut the fuck up. I'm old. I'm your old kid. 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 I'm your I'm going to be real with you. Oh, put. <laughs> he said, let me explain something to you. When a nigga tell you, let me explain something to you. Yeah, he pull you to the side in the middle <laughs> of like, argument. He said, let me explain <laughs> something to you. Let me explain something to you. I will put <laughs> my motherfucking foot. Nah, that's different. Yo, when a nigga tell you, yo, let me explain something to you, he about to explain you some shit. <laughs> I just want y'all to know I, how real that is. I, I, I would say this. What? Um, as a father... I have to this day, 
Uh-huh. My son is only six, he's going on seven. Hasn't I, come yet. I have not had a, a day when I felt the way that he felt just now in that clip. But can I tell you something? Yeah. As a man, right? Yeah. At my age, there's going to come a point where he's going to try you guys. Uh, and and, and I, it's not going to be I'm, I'm when fully he's aware young. It's going to be when he's about 18, 19 Maybe not even, maybe 21. You know, he start getting but a little that pussy. Is young. That's young. But I'm talking about. He start smelling himself. He gets some pussy. You know, I'm, fucking, I'm fucking women. I'm about to say, job. it typically happens once he's fucking raw. Yeah. Oh. You, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I slid up in it. What's that? What's you doing? Willow, 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 Willow go hit his phone like, yo, what, why are you? Why your mom's calling me telling me you're doing ah, uh, ah? Uh, yeah, yeah. The fuck is you talking about? Right, right, right. Wait, I'm, hold on. I'm sorry. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, To be honest. Wait, to be honest. Fuck is you talking? But to be, to be honest, <laughs> to me that's not normal. What? Let, let's keep it a buck. What? Fuck is you talking about pops? Like, uh, but this not, is what I'm saying. No, but, but, hear me out. What I'm uh, saying is, to me, that's mm. not normal. The situation here with Kirk Franklin and his son, to me, is not normal. Right. That's an anomaly. Right. That's a fucked up situation. Mm-hmm. That's 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 a deteriorating relationship. Right. right? That's the only reason why they got there. Mm-hmm. What I'm saying right. is, if, if you got a good relationship with your pops, yeah, or whatever uh-huh. authority or figure. Mm-hmm. Figures over your life, whatever the case may be, I feel like you have more respect for that individual. But I'm talking about him just, I'm exaggerating, of course, people. But yeah. it's going to come a point where little man is going to, when he gets to that age, he's going to try you. But it's not going to be like that. You don't know. <sighs> well, no. Well, I, I, I can't I'm say not that. Speak no, on no, the no, because what, what I'm saying is, that's, mm. you're literally speaking to what I was saying. What right. I'm saying is, their relationship is like that because it already deteriorated. Yeah, a long time. This, this yeah. Is, they already had like, a tumultuous relationship. Like, yeah, this, yeah, this is not the yeah. first time yeah. that they've been here. So right. what I'm saying is, if the relationship had any respect or any values or morals to it, right. I don't feel like this is the conversation that a normal parent and child I would have. Put I feel like this, this is a fucked up situation. I would put my foot. He said, "I would put my foot." I mean, in oh. your now, motherfucking ass. Like now, he said um, that. Because, you know, that. I was looking more into it, you know, because uh, topics for the night or whatever. Yeah. And um, after he apologized, it made sense. He also said that the son didn't play the part where he, they uh, brought the counselor, you know, tried to get in contact with the counselor so that they can rectify the situation. But then they talked to Kirk Franklin, um, daughter. his daughter. Yeah. And the daughter mm-hmm. was saying that she on the other side. She like, I can see, you know, the fucked up shit you're doing. Like, you want to play recordings? I got recordings. You know, like, we can. To be fair, what it is, the daughter said that. I was on Instagram and saw that. Yeah. The, the daughter was wilding on the on the, on the yeah. older brother. Because the brother, yeah. He was like, he's 33 years old. And right. he been like this. And he been wilding. He and he, he jealous. He jealous because Kirk moved on. Got another family. The crazy part is he's, and Kirk, and she and said Kirk, Kirk still blesses him with bread. Yeah. Takes care of him. But he's yeah. just spoiled. Pretty much, he's just a spoiled, spoiled brat looking for attention. We're, at this point. we're honestly looking at a bunch of privileged people arguing. But even the fact that you're willing to, and um, Steve Harvey said it had a great take. I don't know if you saw the Steve Harvey take on it, but it was great. He was just saying that. Oh, my bad, man. Yeah, you that? cussing? <laughs> are you you burping all over the guy? Uh, uh, microphone? No, I'm joking. no, no, no. But but Steve was like, like you said, every kid to press you. You know, it's and he was like, I've cussed my kids. Like, that's life. He was like, but the fact that the kid is willing to record try it. to record it and, and try to destroy you. and embarrass it, that shows the type of... You, you want to you know why? The I, type of person that you are. I'll stop you there. Yeah. He's not a kid. He's a grown-ass man. This nigga's 33 years old. I, He's grown as fuck. That's why I kept fuck. saying his age. He's We're not talking about kids. kids. <laughs> He's older than me <laughs> He's now. Older than you. This nigga's He's older than me right now. He's older than both of us, right? Right. You older than him still. Yeah. You older than Kirk Franklin. What? You you Kirk Franklin. You was there for... Oh. He wrote Stomp. Oh, nah, but he, he, wrote wrote the whoop, whoop. he wrote the woot woot. <laughs> he was in the background. <laughs> you wrote the woot woot. I heard lit. it. That song was lit. The, it what? Was. That song is fire, bro. Was. They played that song on BT Uncut. <laughs> what? No, they yes. did not. What? I don't believe that. They had the uh, fucking neon suits. Hey, find a clip. Imagine Wade find a clip. <laughs> Pull it up. They, Wade find a clip right now. Played, they played Ooh. Revolution on BT Uncut. That was so dope. They had a version with the strippers, and it was just popping. Like, <laughs> that yeah, ass. I'm, I'm dead serious. <laughs> Every time they clap. <laughs> okay, COVID. I need the vaccine. You, you need the <laughs> vaccine. I, well, I can't get it. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want the Moderna or the uh, Johnson & Johnson? Man. You want two Johnsons? Nah, no, it's I'm, one, right. actually. Oh, it's one it's Johnson. One Johnson. Oh, it's just it's Johnson. Just, just Johnson. Yeah. That's even worse. <laughs> <laughs> one big, long Johnson. Hey. No, it's a needle. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. 
Shit like this big. That's what I'm saying. Long ass, ass needles sticking the shit out, yo. And Chill out, Mr. Your, C. They Chill slap out. in your shoulder. <laughs> they slap in your shoulder? <laughs> oh, no. But the Johnson and Johnson shoulder. one? Yeah, they. Oh, no. Nah. Like prime real estate. Hell. They nah. try to break their foot off in your. No. Nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> They try to do no, but real shit. Like <laughs> on 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 this on this Kirk Franklin shit. Yeah. Um, it it it's amazing to me how people can feel like church people don't curse. Oh, they're not human. Yeah. No, the world went up in the uproar because Kirk Franklin. They made real people. Real people. Like he was, said, "I break my foot off in your motherfucking ass." To me, that's literally a black parent talking to, a, talking black to a black child. Black child that's yeah. it. I will fuck you up. Bro. That's like, normal. Are you, are you stupid? That's Who are you normal. talking to yeah, right that's now? That's normal. That's normal. And that. they over here trying to put God into things, and it's like, stop trying to put God into to normal situations. Yeah, that's yeah, and, but you and know, then you want to know? No, no, wait, wait. And if you want to be real, right? People make it seem like God doesn't bring ra- forth wrath upon people. People make it seem like it's one-sided. God is just... He like, flipped tables in the tabernacle. That's one. And when niggas fucked <laughs> up... I know my up, stories. He, was wa- he used to wow on the planet Earth. Nigga, like, he the, sent the, the whole flood. He said, oh, y'all want to... Y'all okay. want to turn up? Watch this. Talk Hold about that breaking your foot off on <laughs> Earth. I'm breaking my foot <laughs> off in his ass. Literally. <laughs> nigga, the fuck is he talking about? So then let's not sit here and make it he seem like... He hated Earth and broke his whole foot off on the whole planet. And then he okay, said, do it again. I'm going to burn you. Okay. <laughs> like, Everybody <laughs> turn the salt. Boom. Hold that. No, no the, nigga, the nigga flooded us and then said, y'all do it again. I'll burn you next time. Pussy. What the fuck is he talking about? What the fuck is he talking about? Bum-ass niggas. You should have took the foot. That's what you should have did. <laughs> Should have took the foot. <laughs> I'm saying so. Now you drown. Let's not see it. You know what it is. A lot of times, <laughs> it's a it's a perception thing and it's a judgmental thing. People yeah. have an issue with. My food is not coming. <laughs> these niggas, hey, real Bro, quick, y'all. It's, now it says twelve forty five. Okay. These niggas order some food that ain't coming <laughs> twice. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm gonna text the guy. I'm, I'm gonna say. Um, and he gonna text a nigga that didn't even get the food yet. <laughs> No, I'm saying, you coming? Pause. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 no, wait. To, to be honest, for everybody that's watching us, uh-huh. uh, we ordered food about an hour ago. The food never came. It didn't. They right. just told they, us no. <laughs> Their no, food no, never no, came. No, no, but after an hour of waiting, uh-huh. matter of fact, Uber Eats, I know you're listening. And this is a good don't time. Curse, to have, don't, don't curse at him. No, 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 I'm not going to curse. Okay. But this is a good time to have an honest conversation with someone who. We patronize. First off, why I don't never got a phone? Is that a good one? I don't understand. Yeah. Yeah, we're, we're patrons. patrons. Of, yeah, mm-hmm. right? So because we're patrons, I want to say something that's honest. Um, we ordered we ordered some food a yes, while we ago. We did. Mm-hmm. Um, and it took an hour, and it, it kept pushing the time back. So yes. they canceled it. And then they was like, you know what? We ain't bringing the food. <laughs> <laughs> and, and we waited a while long. So now it's like, I right, bet. Let's reorder. So now we reordering, and... And homie ain't respect I'm talking to either. Kevin... He oh no, Kevin said just got the food. Okay, cool. Look, look, right, yeah, look, Kevin, look. cool. All right, okay. cool. So shout out to Kevin. Shout out to Kevin, dude. bro. Bring this food. Yeah, yeah. Shout. Oh, I said go to South, Kev. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm, <laughs> no, never mind. Never mind. Kev, yo, uh, we'll the wrong to thing. the South Bronx. <laughs> 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 no, nigga. All right. Nah, but 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 Uber Eats, you need you need to you need to correct this because we ordered the food a while ago, mm-hmm. and 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 we ain't get that shit. So yeah, it's man. okay. It's okay. Right. We we sitting here looking nice, but, but niggas is mad. Yeah, now nah, I'm hungry. Facts. But I have a question, right? What's the question? My what do foot you... off. I'm going to break my foot <laughs> off and Uber eat ass. Yeah, that nigga my word watch. You ever had Uber eat ass? No. What? <laughs> okay. That was a little weird for me. I'm typically with the jokes. No, get off of me. <laughs> 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 Grab you me. with Johnson and Johnson. <laughs> no, no, you no, no. Yeah. He's with me. Uh huh. Right. He said he want one long Johnson. That's what he <laughs> Not before I come um, Y'all so immature. Nah. Damn. You said, so yeah, I got a who question, he right? No. <laughs> In terms of because the the main the main premise everybody was saying was um how do you speak to your you're supposed to speak to your kids a certain way, right? And I feel like when a man is talking to his son, once he reaches a certain age, a man should be talking to his son differently than he was before. Specifically his boy child, because the world is not going to be nice to black men and all these different things. Now, do you but feel like... Not, okay, yeah. Okay, do you okay. feel like that kind of speech pattern should be involved in a child's life early? Let's say about 17, 18. What you mean? So, I, I'm sorry. In you terms of cuss your kid, kid out? Yes. Cuss your kid, kid out, out at 17. 
do you think it's okay to cuss? Let's say the let's say the parameters change. Instead of him being thirteen, yeah, he was sixteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen ish. He's thirty three though. No, I said let's change. The He's parameters. older than all of us here. He's all of, besides Dame. <laughs> besides besides Dame, he changed the parameters. He's older than me too. Dame is eighty three. <laughs> Change the parameters. Do you think it's okay to talk to your kids that way at that age, 16, 17? I mean, listen, I'm a grown-ass man, and if you're a grown-ass kid, then I'm going to talk to you like a grown man. Shout out to Justin calling while he knows <laughs> we're... You know you, we're, we're doing Willow Wednesdays. Don't answer. Nah. I'm not going to answer. No. I'm, I'm, I'm fan of giving people the same respect that they give you. Uh, you good? You all right? <laughs> Wade, you all right. good? Nah, that dude but, say kicking over there. Nah, but... um. I'm a fan of just treating people with respect, period. And then when mm-hmm. you disrespect me, I get disrespectful. I don't like that the other part wasn't shown. You know, right. anybody could get into an argument, a verbal, you know, back Spat, and forth. Right. And and then if you only show one part, you only show one part. It's like, that's like, they, he made it like he called him and started like that. He called him and said, let me tell you something. Yeah, I'm yeah. Hello, hello, right. hello, dad. Hey, I'm going to break my motherfucking... No. no, yeah, no we no, we no, know clearly there's right, something right, going right, on right, already. Right, that's, facts. that's facts. And I guess if you're a regular black person, we just like, eh. <laughs> eh. We've seen that kind of stuff. And then also, it was a personal conversation. Personal conversations True. is Between. not something that, you know, needs to be aired. We've spoken to each other like that or get heated or whatever in, in, a, in a real situation, but it's between us. That's like you calling your wife and then your wife airing out how you talk to your wife. Exactly, yeah. I That's some sucker saying. shit. <laughs> Just to be like... I, I, I feel like it, it was an opportunity to what? show how his dad speaks. So he was like, oh, I'm going to show the world right. that you, you a gospel singer or artist, but you be talking like this. Like I feel like it was right. an opportunity. It's an opportunity. That's some sucker mm-hmm. shit. Period. His son, his, ooh. You got a shot, That's a Wade. shot, That's Wade. a shot. We heard you in the back. That's a shot. Hey, and real quick, y'all, if y'all don't know, you can't say the B word on the show. If you say nope. the B word, you got to take a shot. And Wade just said the B word. Throw that shot, Wade. Throw that cup. Jay, Wade, throw that Wade. cup. Listen. No, no, no. Wade got to take this shot. Got to take that shot, yeah. sir. Oh, uh, yeah. When you say the B word, you got to take a Listen shot. Listen, it's real. So... If you say the B word, I'm looking at my camera. You gotta take a shot. Gotta Whether take that home, shot. You on the call? This is well, for Wade. You better look. On, you better on, look brother. at that goddamn camera <laughs> and on, tell brother. him. Take take this shot. Take right? that shot. Take man. this shot. You saying the B word and, and whatnot? <laughs> Don't pump fake. You want this Canada drive you with over it? there timbling over. You tumbling you over. You timbling. You timbling over. You timbling over, <laughs> okay. nigga. All right, gotta take a shot too. What wait, I said. Wait, wait, he took it. He took it. Ah, uh, there you okay. go. Hey, all right. Ooh. Let's. Yes. Yo, what's up with you today, Wade? You all right? You, you want some juice? Good? You want some juice? You want some Canada Dry? Okay, some... <laughs> no, no. He feel it. Look his face. You want Look some his simply? face. Simply. Listen, yo. Mediator, moderator, road call, selector, stitcher, temporary lover, always toxic, half a gas station pill, Bari. What the fuck we talking about next, man? Let me um, hit the button. <laughs> Let me hit the button. Willow Wednesday. Hey, man. Play the damn song. Hey, man. I hit the button. Go ahead. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, <laughs> the button has been hit. <laughs> Let's talk about whole phases. Oh. Let's talk about whole phases. Let's oh, talk about whole okay. Phases. Whole phases. <laughs> okay. I have a question for all of you. Whole men. phase. Yes. Okay. Do you feel that all men should have a whole phase? Yes. Oh. I, 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 was that too quick? I'm sorry. It was really quick. Uh-oh. Oh. Your whole line is going Uh-oh. off. <laughs> Take, yo, bro, turn your phone notifications off, bro. Back. Like, we, hello, hoes. We taping the show. <laughs> hey, hoes. I hey, hoes. got hoes. Turn your I notification off, man. Damn. Let, let them know that you be home area. shortly. I'm kind of mad. Y'all keep them on a area. leash. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, whole face. Ho, ho. Ho, ho. That's no hard. Area. 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 Cole. 774. Four, four, four. Uh, let me see. Whole phase though, yes. does a man yeah. need a whole phase? I think I think I think you need it for d- um, yes. That's be my answer. Ah. Wait, do you think a man needs his whole? A I whole think phase? he need a whole phase, okay. but I also think a woman need a whole phase. You so know, so I'm need. yeah. So I'm in. You know. That's why I, I want to retract my statement, but I keep my statement. I, I think I, I think everybody I stand firm on what I said. Yeah. Right. But I, I want to. I, I do want to give the, the opportunity to elaborate further. Yes, so cool. I feel like I should be allowed to elaborate further. Cause uh, but, yeah. I stumbled across a, a, a video that stated about men believing that men don't need. They sh- men shouldn't have a whole phase because mm-hmm. all it does is uh, invite. Yeah, Mo Hoen. 
hoeing into your life, <laughs> and now because you're used to it, when you finally do settle down, all you're gonna do is just hoe. Ho. You know what I'm saying? So what do you guys? Is what a hoe does. I feel like a man needs a hoe phase, I, and I do agree. I feel like a woman needs a hoe phase as well. But I feel like maybe we all have different reasons behind why. What is, what's your reason, Mr. Willa, as to why you feel like a man I, needs a whole face? I, I feel like it's a word semantics thing. Be- yeah, because I don't because, like the words. Because li- literally, if you said everyone needs to find themselves, we'll all be like, oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah. But... And I, I can that. even that I can even go a little further. I think yeah, people should I, fuck I, multiple people. I, I, I'm just saying, no, no, I'm just saying, no, no, but I'm agreeing with you. I'm just piggyback off of my shit. You try to piggyback off of my piggyback, huh? <laughs> you try to double piggyback <laughs> off of my shit. <laughs> no, but that, that, that point is valid. Your point is valid. Yeah. He feels like you should fuck multiple people. I'm he saying that's like what it is. Right. But saying whole phase. Literally, whole phase is the same thing he's saying. Fuck multiple people. It's the same yeah. thing I'm saying. Find right. yourself. Right. What, what it is is... Oh, you're saying get, it nicer. We get caught up on word semantics. Right? Yeah. If, yeah. If, 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 if you meet a young lady and she's mm-hmm. like, oh, no, I'm out. I'm just finding myself. Right. You're like, cool. But, but she lets you hit. How many times do you think that happened? That's happened multiple times. You're, you're not, you're you're not, not an exclusion. Facts. So she's finding herself. She yeah. wants to know what she likes, what she don't like, what she loves, what she hates. Like you need. But to, what's wrong with calling it what it is? What I'm saying is you can't say calling it what it is because it might be what it is. To, it, it's different to everybody else. So you may say it's the whole phase. Okay. Right. She may say, no, I'm finding myself. And you can't say what's wrong with calling it what it is. It, it is what it is to do to different people. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. Okay, so it's unfair. so what, what is what does whole phase mean to you? To, to me, who? to Barry, to Barry, yeah, my cool. Bad. What's your whole phase? Uh, whole like, phase, I feel like is you legitimately. I don't want to sound. Yeah, you digging <laughs> shit, every, as a man. You digging everything <laughs> down on the, on the planet. You just that out here. Drop. You a little loosey goosey. Getting dick down. down. Loosey goosey with your dick. Protected him. Loosey goosey. Loosey okay. goosey. You been loosey goosey <laughs> with your dick? Wait. Wait a minute. Loosey goosey with your dick. Let me find out loosey goosey. With protection, of course. With Wait. protection, of course. You can't be loosey goosey with protection. Yes, you can. <laughs> you're loose. Yeah. And you're a goose. With, with protection. protection, yeah. Okay. Loosey You out here, but you at But you're not out here. But you're safe. <laughs> you out here, you're but you're safe. You're safely out here. Yes. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? So. Loosey goosey so, with your dick. That's so wait, so whole phase is you you mean, you, 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 you loosey goosey. You having fun, you but you but you protected. But you're experiencing multiple people. Yes. Right. But you protected. Yes. What if you're not protected and you oh, and you yeah. just loosey goosey? Oh, oh, oh no, you that. you swimming with no scuba gear. You're wilding, bro. You always gotta have your scuba gear. Always, fellas. Real quick, understand something. Walk with your scuba gear. I know the era is over of walking with the condom in your wallet or your pocket. Man. But condoms, you remember those? Please my, walk well, my shit, those? My shit stayed in my wallet. You know I'm saying to the like, point where his nah, shit, that concept his shit was, was crinkled always up. There, yeah. you, know, you know what's funny? You know what's funny? I I used to have a, a condom in my wallet so long that it'll go bad. Yeah. Because if if, yes. if if the kind of rapper has a bubble in it, it's no good. Yeah, Fellas, it's I'm, no good. I, I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm preaching to the yes, choir, but we, we all know that, right? Learn like, that, yes. If you, a condom got the bubble in it, throw it away. Yeah, right? but as but men, we were taught, no, hey, but, always walk with a condom. Always be prepared. But what happens is you have the condom in your wallet so long because you're just taught to walk with it. It's like when it's time to use it, it yeah. may not be good. Yes, <laughs> no, no, because think about it. Your wallet in your pocket, it get hot, you cold. Sit, you stand up. Yeah, 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 yeah. You ruin the condom. Yeah, yeah. You, you Crazy part is you don't use other condoms while still having that, wa- that condom. <laughs> that wallet kind of be the but worst. But as long as you got one. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man. As long as you got so one. So that's what I'm saying. But even besides Have you ever used your crusty condom? Yes. And that's not good. That is Russian roulette. You are playing... With all lives, you all be like, lives matter. You, you be like, damn, no kind of. All I got is this old rusty fucker. It's, it's, it's either that or you bust it raw. And, yeah, yeah. To be honest, no, no, oh, no. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say something that may be controversial. Uh oh. Fucking raw didn't happen until recently. Oh. Wait, what? 
Well, okay, yes, I, yes, I, I, I'm, I'm with you. For our times, I, 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 you're, I, I, you're like I, I, 80 I, I, years I, I, older than us, right? Yeah, y'all didn't so have condoms. We, we didn't grow up fucking raw. No, no, no. No, we, we had, no, I, we, I can't no, say I we, because you're older. Stupid. So we, no, hey, no, no, I didn't yeah. either. I didn't either. You sure? Right. Yeah, no, I didn't okay, either. So then, never okay. mind. So it's but not the news thing. It was like, it was like, a, it was because, like taboo. But no, the, the the generation before me was also like, what the fuck you had a condom for? Yeah. Oh, no, for sure. Yeah, no, we when I talked to my condom. dad, my dad was like, I don't think I ever used it. I was like, dad, you never it's used like, 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 that's, that's, I'm sorry, that's what? bad. But that, but so he's what also, the fuck happened? He was mad. He got eight kids, nigga. That's Damn. <laughs> Back then, it's like but, no, but I'm gonna be Dave real. Mo Pops. Yeah, <laughs> but I'm gonna be Eight real. Eight kids and, and, it's, and it's a lot. We but don't know. Even to speak to that point, nowadays, I know dudes who's out here talking about yo straight up. I don't walk with no condom. I, I bust shorty raw, and I'm like, bro, you just. You it's know a you lot of shit that I don't get. Him? Like, nope. Even <laughs> even um, and I know we we straying away from the topic. My bad, but uh, slightly, yeah. Um, but a lot of dudes don't use condoms, and then just be busting mad nuts. Like it's. Uh, Nick, yo, they bruh. emptying clips bruh, out bruh. here. No. <laughs> like, no, no, they do. It didn't tell you. Like, no. like they, they got butt all the Why does it sound like a, a fucking Doberman pincher? Letting shit off in that motherfucker. Who are these guys? Bull, and why does this happen? Right. And then they mad when she pregnant. It, it's so many stories. Oh, right. But that's my shit. point. So, fellas, please. <laughs> yes. con- and, hey, real talk, ladies. Rock make sure <laughs> if <laughs> this nigga don't got a condom, make sure you got one. Even though I know fellas don't trust when a woman has a condom, I don't. Uh, that, oh. It, that that, that yeah, concept that's a whole is. Other thing, it feels so is, weird. When that, she pulls out no, the condom, you like, that huh. That concept it, is so it, crazy. It feels like. It, no, it feels man, like you I know the deal. You've been here before. <laughs> I know men who won't use the condom. Like they be yeah. like, "Nah, I don't trust your condom." Like, but what's wrong with her condom, nigga? I, I don't know, and that's yeah. the problem. Yeah. I don't know. And that was that whole thing uh, in the eighties. Like, like they gonna shit. stick holes in your condom, just stick a hole in this shit. Like I don't know, yeah. so I'd rather buy it and have it. She clearly that. got it because she don't want to fuck you raw, or she got it because she fucks everybody raw. Or Ooh. she got it because every nigga that fucks her with that one just brings one and she keeps them. Now she has a collection. But it's still a good condom. Or she could have just got done fucking somebody else prior. But it's still yeah. a good condom. You don't know that. Her fucking somebody else has nothing to do with her. No, but that's a what condom. it's a concept. It's not really the condom. It's it's, it's, it's the it's mindset. All the re- it's, it's all like, the reasons why it's, like, it's already oh, there. Oh, okay. It's, it's kind of like. So wait, let me ask you a question. It's gonna stop you from fucking her. Raw, absolutely. Of course, but you're still gonna use the condom. My condom, not the one she provides one. me. Let's say, let, let, oh, oh, let, oh <laughs> scenario. Yes. Didn't have, didn't plan on it happening, but you and young lady chilling on the couch. Okay. It's oh, it's always going, a plan. Going, okay. Music playing. <laughs> He's wild. He's stupid. It's you fucked up already. How so it's always already. a plan. One, it's always a plan. Two. I always have one in my wallet. What are you talking Cause about? Because you got the yeah, crusty, dusty one. I got the yeah, crusty. Bro, you. at the... <laughs> oh, my God. So you've never been caught in a situation where you wasn't planning on fucking... I've you. always had one in my wallet. Even if it's been there for a year. I'm a real nigga. Two, and it's been situations where I... I, mean, did, no, I, I, I respect no, but there's you, been, honestly. I mean, but I there was, has been situations where, like, I legit... I wasn't expecting it. And she pop now, up on you. You just ain't prepared. You know, like... You like, want me at my house? I have one. No, but I'm saying, you ran out. Whatever. You use the last one. You ain't... You know, you use the last one. And she pop up. Okay. Okay. Yes. yes I've so had no, that. No, no, that. You yes. empty the box. Oh, okay. So you got to re up. You got. So re-up. so what what I will say is, and mm-hmm. I'm not gonna discredit your your point. Got you. Because he resonated with it. What I'm saying is, in my life, yeah, I've never had a situation like that. Hey, listen, hey, fam. Yeah. That's, that's what I'm trying to say. I, I've time literally, time frame I've never real. had a situation yeah. like that. I've had like a car situation where she just in the car and it's like, oh, it's, oh, oh, it's oh, right now. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Hey, fam, <laughs> like, I've always legit had one in yeah. my wallet. Like okay. I grew up yeah. that way. No, no, like, I, I, I did growing up, but there has been no times. And, and the one that that was in my wallet that I used, I was just going to replace it. And literally, it was always yeah, yeah. one in my no, wallet. No, no, I'm with you. I, I was just a wallet loser. <laughs> I, used to, I used to lose my wallet. Yeah, he never had a wallet, like ever. Don't judge me. <laughs> it's not a judge. It's not a judgment. It's just. It's just it, 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 it's been situations where I didn't. I just wasn't walking with none because you know what I'm saying the time you wasn't expecting it and reing up was just. All right. Was that period of time and then now you stuck. So let's just finish this topic right. and we're not gonna drag it. We're not. Facts. Damn it. But, but yeah. I just want to finish this topic so we could just move on. Um. But all right. So whole phase. We all said yes. Right. I, I feel th- like both men and women should have. I one. think I think 
To piggyback off of what Barry just Biggie said. Piggyback. Piggyback. To piggyback. That's what they got at Wendy's. The, the Biggie bag. <laughs> Go ahead. It's five dollars, ain't it? It's five dollar Biggie bag. Yes, it is. It's five dollars. <laughs> Shout out to Wendy's. I'm sorry. Go ahead. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> but to piggyback yes. off of what Barry was saying. Yeah. I agree a thousand percent. I feel like men and women should have their whole face. So you know what you like, what you don't like, what makes you tick, what yes, what, what I'm saying. Just so That's you like, can, because honestly, it makes you a better person for the experiences the, for, of it. Yes. No, for the, for the person that you're gonna be, be with. One hundred percent. It makes you a better individual. You know what you like, what you don't like. What you you can discuss it. it you're more open to certain yeah. things. It's like I, I feel like you're a better individual for that person that you will be with. So I'm not opposed to that. I could agree there. Um, uh, like I know girls who. Got I have a, f- a few of these now. Uh, just a few women friends that friends friends friends. I have a few women friends. Oh okay. Jesus. I was about to say what? <laughs> I saw it face. I was like, let me clear that up. Friends 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 He's the first person that you had sex with as, right. as a woman. That's you know what I'm saying? The only he person. Yeah. Only person. So you get married and now you fucking 27 and you like, damn, I ain't never had no other dick. Like your dick whack. And now oh, it ain't even that. It's and just, just I don't know. I want Damo from the Willow Wednesday Stop podcast. That. Stop that. Stop that. Stop that. Stop that. <laughs> that stop friend, that friend, 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 stop friend. That. No, no, no. Stop that though. I'm not saying that's true. I'm just saying stop. No, oh, listen. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm just joking. All right. Yeah, she's a friend, 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 friend. I'm single now. So no, all I'm saying is <laughs> the friend, 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 the friend. Yeah, the I'm joking, friend. Joking, I'm joking. Literally just fucking around. I right, know. Uh, DM. So all I'm saying is. <laughs> no, I'm okay, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. No, no. But what happens is, um, they, for real, uh, the, the whole phase for them was like after they was married, and like that's crazy because now she's cheating on her husband or whatever. But you know, from what it was explained to me was it's like, I, yeah, okay, technically I'm cheating, but. I never really had nothing else to even know. And not even a comp- that the husband is whack. It's just I've been like. I've with Jonathan since I was 12. Bro, one, whoa. And I'm 26. <laughs> oh, like, oh like, he 12 too. Okay, cool. Because no, no, no. <laughs> I'm like, nigga. If, you go, if we're going off the high school sweetheart, it's right. like they, their whole adult life. Right, right. And now she's. They could be 13 and 14. And, and now, now they're 27. And now she's 27. And she's like, what the fuck? Oh, I don't know right, what else. Right. right, right. And she's been her whole life. Mo. Avoid Never been a lame mo. Stop that. Slinging that dick. Nah, you know nah, what I mean? Nah. That's now Bart. she met a real nigga. <laughs> Look, that's Bart. That's Bart. Now Bart. she met a real nigga. Okay. And See? now she's like, oh. No, but I, all I'm saying Fuck is. Fuck Devin. <laughs> Who's Devin? Like, <laughs> Devin. All I'm saying is that's a, a, a reason why. You know, right. you, you should go out and do what you, you, you do. Um, but then the other part of the whole phase is I do think it's kind of a problem. I will, I will kind of uh, agree with that dude a little bit. Um, well, agree with the scenario a little bit. Um, I do think when you just get used to fucking, 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 you can kind of get into that thing where you just fucking, 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 fucking. Yeah, and so even if you're with somebody, yeah. you just want to fuck, 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 right? Because that's what I do. Yeah. I'm just fucking, 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 right? Um, I, I've I do, been there too. I, 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 at that point, I, I'll speak to that point after my... I, I feel like the reason I say the whole phase is warranted is not only for yourself, but I feel like it's an ex- a learning experience so that when you do have kids, you can explain to them Hey, this is what it's like. This is what it's not like. You can give a pro- you know have a proper conversation. <laughs> I'm being rude. Just have a proper conversation. So you fucking, so you can tell your kids. He Daddy re- was fucking, baby. He rehearsed that. He rehearsed <laughs> that. that. No, I, but that, my that thing was, is, you doing it. That was good. I'm fucking good. for the kids, baby. That was good. No, I'm fucking always, for the children. I'm fucking for the kids. <laughs> I'm, I'm hurting. I'm old. I'm okay. I'm gonna be real, right? <laughs> no, you're not being real. I'm being very real because when. Have a son or a daughter. I don't never want my kid to go into a situation and I'm not able to somewhat give them some type of knowledge on what they may or may not see. And that's real shit. I'm not arguing with you. I just, right. I was a hoe for that. you, son. Word. Like, I know no, me and your mom may work out. No, I said, I said, wait, 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 wait. No, no, wait. I definitely said, no, wait, wait, wait. For, I was a hoe first. so you didn't have to be one. That's it. I, yeah, <laughs> man. You know, bar you with that, so hopefully you won't have to go, go through, through that. that. Come on, <laughs> like, now. I was raised in the projects. projects. Roaches, Roaches and rats. And rats. Come on. <laughs> Smoke is out back. Come Selling on. Selling their mama's sofa. Go ahead, Barry. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. <laughs> of course it's for me first, hey, so I can figure out get my it, brother. Se- so I can find my better self. <laughs> heard you know it, heard saying? it. Okay, okay. So I can become one yes. with me. Yes. yes. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Right. Of okay. course. 
So right. that when I find my future queen, hello, whoever you are, shout out to future you. Future queen. Hey. Shout out to the, you know shout out to the yeah. future queen. I am well equipped and well versed in all aspects mm. of love mm. right. and, and, and personal self growth. You know what you I'm saying? You are dangerous. <laughs> it's bullshit. How am I like, dangerous? Because you're full of bullshit. <laughs> That's like, bullshit, to, to be honest, bro. like, you, That's the bullshit. last 10 minutes have been bullshit. <laughs> what are you talking about? Bro? I'm fucking I said for the kids. a lot of great things just Yo, now. You did, I'm fucking bro. for the kids, baby. You said, I'm, I'm a fucking for the future. <laughs> <laughs> so the kids understand it. Listen, I'm your fucking father. We Get it? We are the future. <laughs> like, <laughs> what? Listen, it's bro. for the future. It's for the future. Yeah, okay, all right. But cool. I'm, on a cool. serious note, I do agree with that. When you get stuck into a cycle and you get comfortable in a certain cycle of just fucking people, yeah. it's hard to get out of it. It is. It really is. And you have to check. It gets to a point where you, you have, have to, really check yourself. check yourself. You do. Like, All right, do I want to continue to just fuck people or do I want to stop this and do, do I want to build different? a relationship? Right. right. And then you got to you got to check that yourself before life checks you. Oh, because yeah. it will. Because life life check me. It will. <laughs> and when life and one life thing I say, me, life ain't never lost ever in life. <laughs> life. Life is a million life, and no. Life, life, life no, ain't no, never life, lost. Life don't lose, bro. It was it funny though. He's stupid. Stop laughing. He's just stupid. Well, what you said was great, but he caught it like a like a like if you was a whack rapper and tried to make a metaphor or some shit. That's I wasn't right. trying. I know, to. but that's why right. he laughed. I wasn't trying to. That's yeah. like, yeah. It's funny because we know each other now. And he <laughs> caught it. It's like what? This ain't no relax. That makes sense. I wasn't trying to be like oh, introspective. I know. I was legit just saying, <laughs> nigga, oh, this shit is real. Nah, he made you like a whack rapper. No, he was like, I ain't do that. No, I, I, do I, that. I know you just heard it like a yeah. stupid. No, no but you heard it like I did. He faced like a bar like this. Hey, tell you the bar. Is that a bar? Nigga, life, <laughs> bite, fight. Nigga, what you talking about? Oh, I, I oh, my, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. <laughs> and I caught it in the peripheral. And I was like... <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad you said, "Ha ha!" Right, and then he over. My bad. My bad. No, I get what you said. No, but life, life, life does. Life, life, come back, man, and kick your ass for real. Shut up. Stop it. No, I'm gonna keep going. No facts. <laughs> no, but it does though. For real, life, life caught me. Uh, mm-hmm. Y'all know my situation. My situation. Was but bad. It, I, it caught all of us. Yeah. And once it caught all of us, I feel like we learned. And we realized that, hey, the same shit I was doing, right. the young boy shit I was doing, I can't Bruh. be out here just Bruh. fucking pussy, just fuck pussy. <laughs> oh, protect yourself at least, because, man. Hmm. Oh, nah, listen here. Bro. Yeah, so, all right. It's cool. a nice at you. least. At least, bro. If you're going <laughs> to do it. At least. Hmm. Listen. <laughs> That's listen. why I had a condom in my wallet. No, how, no matter how old that condom was, it was in my wallet. All I'm right. sorry. Because my thing is, fellas, I'm say, and I'm saying this to all the men in the f- who's watching, just as easy as it was for you to get the pussy raw, don't think that it wasn't easy for another man to do the same thing. Wow. That's a... Uh, yeah. No, I'm saying, no, don't... No, I, I, I know I want to preach man empowerment and all that, but you're not that special to think that you're the only one who's going to get some pussy raw. You're not that girl. special, mm. bro. Mm. You're not that special. So trust me. Trust me, boy. Like, you... She ain't going to protect you. You got to protect yourself, so... Do y'all feel a way when a woman don't care? Yes. Wait, don't care about what? Well, yeah, well, I uh, spoke uh, too soon. Yeah, uh, facts. Like, <laughs> like, yes, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> fuck I that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I spoke too soon. I'm sorry. <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> Can you repeat the question, oh, man, please? Oh, man, I'm sorry. No, no, I mean, I'm talking about the condoms. My bad. <laughs> no, no he, he, jumped out, he jumped all the way out the window. Yes. Fuck, wait, what? I'm sorry. My bad. I apologize. You know what? No, but I think you had it right. I was talking about the condoms. Wait. Okay. Oh, yeah. Fuck Wait. that. Yeah. Yeah, no, he was right. But you said, yeah, so fast. No, Barry like, didn't give a fuck. He like, <laughs> yes, I feel away. What are you talking about? Mm-mm. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, oh, no, yeah, but, but, but do, my, do you do you feel away when a woman don't even have it? Like, uh, um, well, let's say it better. Cause I like I'm okay if a woman doesn't care about the condom like specifically, but like I'm trying to ask the question better. Yeah, fuck it. I, I'll At leave least it show that. some like, damn, I don't got one. Do you do you feel away when she's just like, hell yeah, hit it, bust it raw. What's up? Oh no, yeah, no, 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 no. What you mean, just bust it raw? Yeah. Or oh, you I, know, I, I do feel away. Yeah, yeah you, give you, me you, something. Right? Just be, give me a little. Damn, bro. Damn, wish you had a condom or something, right? And then, like, and then front like you don't want to have sex for a little bit. <laughs> You gotta play the game a little. Yeah. As y'all continue to fuck raw, this is y'all doing. But I'm just saying, you know, honest, bro. But you Yo. making a, you making a decision as people. Where, but but ladies, least, ladies, you see what the fuck is going on? Nah. Okay, okay. Well, but the reason, but you know what it is. But you know what it is. That's wicked. The reason I I I defend it 
because at least that's like y'all having a conversation. Like it's like I, a without it's, a conversation. It's like it's yeah. like when well, we know we fucking up a little. You know, it's like you sh- okay. But don't just be like, yeah, nigga, come get this pussy. Yeah, like if she too much, oh, and no, then no, she no. toot it up. Oh no, oh. just straight leg up. No, because no, because no, no, a woman I ran from literally like stopped was a woman who I tried to get the condom. And she was like, you don't need that, and I was like. <laughs> I was like, what? Oh, uh, shorty tried to line you. I was like, wait, no. First, I was like, why? She said, <laughs> you know, get over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then she was like, because I'm on birth control. And I was just like. What that got to do with it? No, I, I have heard that before. Because girls be on their birth yes, control sometimes. I have heard that right? So, so birth control but is you, the reason for not a condom. But no, birth, birth control is the baby blocker. Psh, yeah. No pregnancy. But that's the reason to not use a condom? But that's the reason to not use a condom. Okay, so there's, there's two reasons to not, to not uh, there's two reasons. Sorry. <laughs> clean it up. Well, is it clear? Clean up, clean up. There's two reasons to wear a condom. Right. One, uh, a pregnancy. Of yeah, course. number one. Two, an STD. Absolutely. Yeah. So. Yeah. Huh? What happened? What do you the mean? The first time we have sex? Well, to be you honest, have- the first time we have sex, I'm probably not going to ask that question. I'm going to ask for, I'm I'm gonna ask for papers. I'm going to ask for well, it was like the second or third after, after we made it a thing, which is stupid. It's the stupidest shit. It's so fucking dumb. You the fuck raw twice. You like, wait a minute, you ain't got nothing, do you? It's like, it's, like, it's too late. <laughs> Whatever well, you, I got, you got. Yeah, you got it's it now, like, nigga. We, no, we got I'm it. Not my hand. I'm you know what's funny? No, to, to be honest, I never asked it neither. Asked <laughs> uh, I ain't want to be by myself. <laughs> You should ask, right? I know. <laughs> wait, wait. I ain't never wait. asked it either. You saw that he pressed us so that he can get confirmation because he know that he ain't never wait. asked. Nigga. That's, wait. Uh, 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 That's why I ain't want to say no. He That's pressed, why I raised he my He pressed head. us, had us thinking like, well, damn, maybe you should ask. Nigga, I ain't never. Okay. He thought you was slick. He thought you was slick. Wait. No, but real shit. <laughs> he thought shit. he was slick, though. No. I'm crying. I'm crying because it's funny. Like, when is the right time to ask for that? Like, what the fuck? All right, to be to all right. I mean, me when I do. Yo, that's a great ass question, bro. Like, nah, what? What? Oh, I, I talk shit. about it first. I'm one of them, bro. I talk about it first before we before we get to the the the, the sexual exploits. I'm always hitting and joking and, you know what I'm saying, you know. Yeah, yeah, oh, just something like, I mean, not that, but yeah, you know, I'm always like, I mean, you ain't got, you ain't burning nothing, you ain't burning, like, yeah, nah, nigga, like, what's up, like. (laughs) Hey, but y'all, but y'all, but I'm a funny nigga, you know what I'm saying, so when you a jokey, jokey guy. I mean, I respect Hey, bro. Nah, when you a jokey, jokey guy, though. Only how you you jokey, jokey ask for some fucking paper. Hey, man. (laughs) Yo, I don't need to see the paperwork. <laughs> I, I want a jokey, jokey here. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully, hey, the shit. Hey, hopefully, the shit. shit at? No, hopefully, the shit need... filled out. But I'm just saying, I don't need it. Yo, I don't need like a, car, a copy. Oh, I'm just, but I do yo. ask, bro. That's, that's funny. At least I bring yo. it up. Because I funny. want her to emphatically be like, hell no, nah, what the fuck you think? It's like, cool. What the, thank you. Yeah, I'm glad. Because if she was like, well, actually. I'm like, oh, whoa, wait, oh, actually, oh, what? Well, actually, <laughs> hello? Shit. Oh, I'm just I'm, messed up. Yo. <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> What? Yeah. <laughs> Where you been at? Oh, I ain't seen you in weeks. I'm, I'm like, that's crazy. It's crazy. I ain't seen you in weeks, man. It's been some shit going Yo, on. Wait, you a real nigga because you helped me say what I wanted to say? <laughs> I've okay, asked, cool. though. I, I've asked, yeah. I had them conversations. I have never asked. Oh, no, that's never. hilarious. I've, I've never asked. asked. I've asked, but, you know, I've I also... Been, I have been asked, but I've never asked. You know what I'm saying? So. <laughs> I've never asked <laughs> See, Fuck motherfucker that. out here fronting. Yo, I hate this. I never said that. No, I wasn't on the side that I did. Out here fronting, like, yeah, you know, you got to have your papers together. No, no, nigga. no, I would hope that you do, but I'm saying in our life, I don't mm. think I've asked. Like, yo, wait, wait, wait a minute. Let me see your papers. Like, I've never seen, I've never said that before. So mm. it's like, mm. I have. I think the worst thing I've done. That's valid. And it, it ain't about papers, but I have. Check the girl uh, on the pregnancy part, like while we was doing it though. Like, what you mean? You was in mid stroke talking about you better be in birth control. Oh no, dead ass. No, for real. Yeah, no. Like my thing when I was young, and I'll tell y'all. You was mid stroke and said that to real a girl. Shit. When I was young, what I would do is because what happened was, um, when I was like maybe twenty two, 
20, uh, 21, 22? 87 years ago. Shut up. Shit. It would be girls that have a baby, right? Like a little baby. You know, like, like no, no, like a little baby. So what else is it going to be? <laughs> well, no, but let me rock. Yeah, yeah, go ahead, go ahead, I'm just saying, ahead, let me finish the story. Uh, well, let go. But a baby and a little let baby, two different go. things. You got you can have a six-year-old, or you can no, have a... a, a nigga, we know there's the, there's the baby, there's little baby, there's the baby. You so we stupid. Know, like, <laughs> <laughs> we know, nigga, we know. <laughs> what I'm saying is, is that she would have a very small child. Yo, this dude say got everybody wildin'. Y'all giggly? <laughs> Only reason I don't feel like this, ladies and gentlemen, is because I was not drinking Duce. <laughs> Yo, shit. Yo, Barry, chill out, What the fuck bro. is he drinking? Straight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Barry, yeah, Barry. <laughs> Yo. Oh, shit. Go ahead, continue. My point continue, is, continue, is continue. I told y'all this in a, in a as previous, as a, as a, in a previous thing. Girls are trying to trap me because they thought I was a, you know, like a good father type, whatever. Mm. So I would be like, I hope you ain't trying to get pregnant. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, definitely. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm good at fucking up the moment. I don't give a shit. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, no, wait. I gotta get no, <laughs> I <laughs> Yeah. Mitch Droke, yeah. Oh, shit. Mitch no, I Droke. fucked up plenty of moments. Why? Why? I'm like, yo, if you get pregnant, I'm going to be a deadbeat. No, Mitch Droke? Mid- oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Damn. What, yeah, what? the fuck? Because they, be, they used to try to trap me. I don't know if I just seem like the fatherly type. <laughs> like, no. she, she fucking him saying, I see a daddy. <laughs> <laughs> yo, I'm telling you. Real shit. And I'm like, me? <laughs> I see a dad in you. I'm like, yo, I, okay. I swear to God, they they be like, you so good with my son. I'm like, yo, nah, what? Okay, I respect I, it. I respect it. I'd be like, well, I'm gonna be a deadbeat so, so if you was, get pregnant. He was like, no, I'm <laughs> anti. Whatever yeah, you think I am, yeah, I'm yeah, I'm, I'm not that. Like, I'm just here fucking. What's wrong with you? That's funny. Oh my God. Wait, 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 yo, y'all are retarded. That's funny. What's up with y'all, yo? Yeah. Wade, you're not allowed to it's certain you words you be needing people to hear. And she'd be like, well, I don't need you to be his father. I'm like, cool, we can keep going. <laughs> I'm not going to get proud. I'm like, cool, we can keep going. Like I, bro, neck, nigga. Listen. Nah, bro, Listen. you're nah. wild, son. Mm-mm. Cause you, I don't wanna... think that, you don't think maybe this is a conversation for before the stroke? <laughs> Sometimes it started to happen too fast, nigga. You just pop up. I'm like, whoa, we ain't yeah, having a conversation I, in yet. It. Cool. I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> I can't be no daddy. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. Yeah, Yo. nah, I did. I've definitely oh done it. I ain't gonna front. God. And I know that's a mood killer. But it also would teach me what type of woman I'm working with. Some women like, it's cool. Fuck it. Bow. I'm like, oh, all right. In the pussy. In it. Literally. Oh, my God. Yo, wait. Mm-hmm. Yo, wait and damn. Y'all are hilarious, dog. Hey, man. Shout out to y'all. So, fellas, strap up. <laughs> no, facts, facts, facts. Uh, Please do uh, that. Go through a whole phase, everybody. Yeah, yeah. But strap up. Strap up. Go through a whole phase. Get it out your system. And when it's time to let it go, let it go. Shit. Oh, the whole phase. Yeah, <laughs> the whole phase. <laughs> Not the straps. <laughs> you, you, you keep the Always keep the straps. Keep the All right, got you, got you, got you. Let's hit this last one, man. This last topic, man, before we get out of here. Um, this is drop, please. Do you remember? Yo, that was the last one. Willow Wednesday. Hey, man, play the damn song. Mm-hmm. All right, so we talking Mr. C. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <Wow. laughs> Sorry. Cool. So <laughs> shout out to Mr. C. Shout out to Mano and Mano's podcast. Mr. C was on his podcast. Um, pretty you got, much. You got, you got the na- uh, the name of Mano podcast? Uh, no, I can find uh, it. I got though. it. It's called uh, it's called Kitchen Talk. Kitchen Talk. Kitchen Talk. Sh- shout okay. out to Kitchen Talk. Shout, shout out to Mano, talk. man. Shout out to Mano. Yeah, facts, facts. facts Yo, facts, Mano, facts. Mano is um, he's he's the reason that I graduated my uh. My internship program, working for the studio, man. You was at Blasto. Yeah, yeah. I got to work. For, I got to do some work for me. No, that was great. Man. Did some recordings. Um, but Mr. C was on his show. Yeah, where he pretty much came out and publicly stated that he's attracted to trannies, transsexual um, women. You can't women. say trannies, bro. Right. I, that's transsexual that's disrespectful. Women. I apologize. He don't have them coming for us, please. Please, I apologize. I sincerely apologize. Okay. He's attracted to transsex- transsexual women. Yes. Thank you. There you go, sir. And I didn't hear the sp- I didn't hear the whole uh, yeah. podcast, the whole episode. But from what I did hear is that um, one thing I did notice is that he was he was 
adamant and he was proud of it. It's like he had his chest out, and I, mm-hmm. I like that. You I respect that. As a man, if I'm you a- stand in your truth, say your truth, and stand in it. Don't don't feel a way about it. Don't be hide from it. Don't be scared about it. If that's what you like, that's what you love, then fine. By all means. If you like it, I love it. Fuck it. I'm all you're for you being you. happy. Right. And that, and I respected that about the whole interview. I'm going to play like a minute or something. Go ahead. Um, yeah, you know, my bad. I know y'all, y'all can't hear it, mm-hmm. but I'm going to just play it. They can hear it. Take the headphones It's all cool. They we hear I got you. Well, I, I love Hot 97 because, um, well, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me get into why people th- think that I left, and then I'll tell y'all why I left People think that I left because of the stuff that I was involved in, you know, the sexual activity and stuff that I was involved in. You know, I know you're not into trannies, right? You're not into trannies. Not at all. Okay. Are you? You know, you know my story. You know I am. You know, you know what I do. I, no, you know, you know. <laughs> but the so, world, like we, yeah, you know, you know, you know, my sto- my story is well documented. I just wanted to know how you how you got down. No, nah, I don't. I, <laughs> okay. I, I, I absolutely. <laughs> Strictly women. Okay, okay, okay. That was good. Okay, I, so, I like that. That's cool. But okay, that was good. so people thought you like that, trannies, though. Yeah, that's what I do, bro. That's you what know you me. do. You know what I do. <laughs> that's what I do. It's, it's but well documented. You liking trannies? Do you consider yourself a gay man? I mean, I've I, I've answered that question way back when when mm-hmm. when I got arrested in 2011 and 2013. We got new new people. Yeah, I know. I know we got new people. <laughs> I don't. I consider myself. Try sexual. I'll try anything. Okay. Hey, I respect it. <laughs> I respect it. I'll try anything. I respect not anything. It. Not not literally not anything. But the point I'm making is is that I th- the only thing I've done with transsexuals is that I got top head from a transsexual. I've never had never sex. Went, you never. I went never in. had. I never penetrated. You never hit a, a nigga. No. <laughs> you never, never hit a nigga. No. Hit a nigga. <laughs> no. Never. No. You never hit a nigga. No. Okay. Not one time. No. Okay. Never in my life. Okay. Never had. Sexual intercourse with a transsexual. But what? But what? What? What is the like? What is the thing with with with, with transsexuals like? Because it's a man, so it's like, I, because this footage, right? It, where it's like this dude tapes you, right? Right. And y'all like haggling over the prices of head, right? So it's like. Well, let me let me let me correct you. Right. It wasn't a dude that taped me. Right. It was a transsexual okay, woman. Okay. Okay. It's a transsexual. I don't want them. To, I don't want them to get at you. Don't get at me. It was a transsexual woman that I, take me. It was okay. not a man. Okay, I don't understand all this shit. But I'm, I'm telling you. That's what I'm saying. You, this, you, you want to learn yeah, from man. the master? Oh. <laughs> you want to? You're the fucking master. He's the fucking master. You want to learn from the master? Yo. So, that shit. <laughs> you want to learn, so from, the master? You wanna learn from the master? <laughs> so, so shout the out master. to Mr. C once again. Shout out to Mano. That's and a fact. That's a fact. That's a fact. What is it? Kitchen Talk? Yeah. Yeah, shout out yeah. to Kitchen yeah. Talk it, it, uh, Yeah, no, nah, dope. dope show. Go check that out. Um. Um, I, I, I heard, from what I saw, it was a good interview, and I heard it was an amazing interview through and through. Yeah, yeah of course, of course, yeah, yeah. Watched, so he put Biggie tra- on, and it was fully transparent. Yeah, like, was, but I mean, it was a whole thing. He talked about the whole Biggie thing. He's the reason why we do Biggie um, celebrations to this day. Mm-hmm. He's the first one to ever do that. So no, Mr. C is, he's, you know, he's seasoned. He's a legend in hip hop. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. As a as a DJ staple in New York City, that's a fact. Yeah, that's a fact. That's a fact. That's a fact. Think, man, after hearing, you know, what's what's your opinions, 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 comments? Uh, it's about time that he said something, or that, that he that he accepted it and said it out loud to everybody because gotcha. it was it was one of them things where a lot of from what I thought, yeah, growing up, a lot of people it was one of the things where a lot of people said, bro, if that's what you do, that's what you do. How stop. Getting caught in a situation and denying and be like, oh no, nah, I didn't know that this was a transsexual person. Right, he tricked right, right. me. Yeah, right, yeah, right. yeah. And it's like, bro, this is not the first, I, I, second, I, or third time. I have to interject there what? because this this isn't the first time that he said this. So it's like, but how he, long? When did? When was the first time that he said this? Years ago. It's been going on for like, years. This was saying, this no, years that he ago. finally admitted it years ago. Oh, yeah, like, so yeah. Well, 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 they go through it. They go through it. Um, in two thousand and seven, Wendy Williams called it out first. But he literally explained it. He said that uh, Wendy Williams, because she worked for BLS, yep. they could not mention other DJs' names. Yeah. Right. So she was just like, eh, 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 is doing stuff with transsexual people. He knew who him. it was, but he couldn't say it. Right. So he was like, and the only time uh, it got weird is when Charlamagne, because you know Charlamagne worked for Wendy, uh, right. Wendy Williams. So now she changes and, and goes to you know uh, uh, 105 or whatever, yep. Power 105. Yep. And so now he was like, ah, now I'm a little nervous because... She can say whatever. He can say, yeah, he can say whatever the fuck. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And uh, but and this 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 is not the first time that 
I've literally heard this before. I've heard right? this my whole but, life. But that's why he's so confident. He's like, yo, chill out because they'll come for you. Right. Mm -hmm. Mr. C is comfortable in his own skin. But I remember. But that's now. Because he did I'm say he felt he was denying it at first. You're right. No, that's what I'm saying. But yeah, no, he was. was a time. But that was 15 years ago. But right. This is what right. I'm trying to say. That like, part <laughs> I did, but this is what I'm saying. That part, the way he been spoke on it, I didn't. I wasn't privy to. I knew yeah, he, the Mr. He, C where he got caught three, four times in a situation. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. he was out here like, nah, I didn't I didn't even know. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That was, that was and, a decade ago. And that's, and, all, see, and that's all I knew. So and what because was, that's all I knew, it's like, come on, bro. It's what like, was, and what was crazy, y'all? Quacks like a duck. You know what I'm saying? Heard it, but that's still 10 years ago. That's Let me give y'all like something that's interesting. It's old news, technically. It's not bad to for people to find out that you slept with somebody that's transsexual. What's bad, and what they were doing was they were literally getting transsexual prostitutes. That's what it was. That's right? what, uh, that's you talked what about Eddie Murphy. Right. That's what it was. He was mm -hmm. soliciting sex from yeah. transsexual women. It wasn't like this. So was you, you, you know what I'm saying? They catch you on the street, and it's illegal to sell pussy. Period. You know what I'm right. saying? Outside, right, OnlyFans right, right, right. legal. <laughs> but if you want to do the shit outside, nigga, you can illegal. <laughs> right. no, that's and, a fact. and that's what was happening. So it's like, if it you want to like do your was... personal business, that's on you. But, but you was... outside on the block, like, yeah, <laughs> sell some. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It was out there they on, call in it the bussy. east. You know what I'm saying? On on the backside where the, the garbage trucks exactly. be at, where they be wilding. I get what you're saying. Out there, like, and they like bussy for sale, and you like, hey, you know what you I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, so it's one of those things, relax. you know. Um, all, I'm saying, you <laughs> all I'm saying is that's the problem, and that's what he went to jail for, for solici solicitation of sex. Right. And the fact that it's trans people, it's like, it's yo, what it what added the to the why, you know? <laughs> why? <laughs> why does it take that? <laughs> I think uh, the day and age that we're in now, I don't think the issue is COVID. COVID. Right. <laughs> like what? I don't fuck? think. Where's your mask? Where's yours? I'm not the one coughing. That's true. I think <laughs> the issue, like you said, because especially in this day and age now, because of where we're at with the LGBTQ community, right? We'll be ex we'll, they're way more accepting of of people's sexuality. Sure. Yeah. Um. The terms them and they are are, are big uh, now. Yeah. I don't know specifically how to use them. I don't want to offend anybody and say yeah, the wrong term. Right. You suppose apparently talking to my family, you're supposed to ask a person their pronouns. Their pronouns. You're right. literally supposed so to say them, they, their, she, she, yeah, him, yep, he, him. Yep. Like it, it, yeah. It, it's and you're thing. supposed to say, excuse me, I don't, I don't want to offend. I just want to know your pronouns yes. so I know how to refer to you. <laughs> and then they let you. Oh, I'm a she. Okay, she. Cool. Because you might look at me. And I'm a black man, but if I associate as a Chinese woman, you better call me such. Mm. <laughs> no, you're I mean, laughing. I'm laughing because it's hilarious. Ass. I'm, I'm hey. not laughing. I'm dead ass serious. <laughs> oh, I'm yeah. laughing because it's the, fucking hilarious. No, what the fuck? Mm? You're I'm laughing. disrespectful. See? Dame is disrespectful. Yeah, I would laugh at anyone here. I, I laugh. I'm a Chinese woman. Cool. I'm still laugh. <laughs> like, what? Shit crazy. As long as you keep it consistent. I'm, <laughs> listen, I laugh at every single person. Mm-hmm. All y'all get this laughter. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, if you keep it consistent, no one can be no one can be mad at you. Everyone can get it. I laugh at everyone. If you consistently keep it consistent, yeah, no, I do. I respect that. But even with the that Mr. C situation, I, I I'm happy for him. Like I said, once <laughs> that's the Dave Chappelle joke. I'm, I, <laughs> he was like, if I was like, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> his wife was like, why would you do that? <laughs> He's like, Stop. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That was a Dave Chappelle joke. That shit was funny. Mm -hmm. But like I said, I'm happy for him. Um, um, I feel like, to be honest, I feel like Mano was the perfect person to have that conversation with. Yeah, one hundred percent. Because I think Mano comes from a real place. Because he's so anti. He's like, nope. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. And, but y'all are pretty anti Mano, too. Listen, what? I'm anti from what? No, but I don't get what you mean. Just anti like um anti new shit. Yeah, no. like anti new concepts. Like Mano is old Brooklyn. Yeah. Right. You know, yes, period. He is, he is right. old Brooklyn. You know, the only thing he don't say is Pauls, because technically that's a Harlem thing. No, but he's older than that. Yeah, he's older than he's Pauls. Older than Pauls. Yeah. So right. so it's like when you say certain things, but I like that he respects Mr. C enough to where Mr. C can say some shit that, you know, to to, to Mano can seem like it crossed the line. But that's because And Mano's like, hey, yo, and he's like, No, but relax, I got you. Like I'm yeah. here. But you respect yeah. him enough. But the thing if is I was to say that to Mano. To fight, <laughs> like, who the fuck? But, okay, what it, the fuck? You know what it is? It's because let's let's not get it twisted. Mr. C is arguably, if not one of the best DJs in New York City now. Period. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And he's still a that's, Brooklyn nigga. Yeah, you know I'm saying. Don't get it twisted. That's a fact. <laughs> Say what you want. 
hands down. You know what I'm <laughs> saying? We've been to parties where Mr. C has has DJed even after all of this all of the scandal that's going on with him. Yep. And he shut parties down. Like straight up. Is that good for no, him? No. There's nice. no argument. Like nice. every we've had top DJs come yeah. and he comes and he shuts it's not the same no more. Yeah. He gets on the set for his hour, he leaves, the party's not the same. That and that fact. it doesn't matter what kind of music, hip hop, R and B, reggae. It don't matter. Mr. C shuts the party. I don't know down. how long we're going, but I wanted to deviate for like three seconds. I'm What's sorry. Up? Only because I'm from Chicago. Obviously, I live in New York, been for 10 years. Okay. Who's the best DJ in New York? Even if you got to go old school, new school, somebody. Like, Who's y'all been to parties. That y'all been out. It depends on what kind of genre of music you're talking about. That's that's a valid. True. That's but if we're talking hip hop, clubs, hip-hop? let's keep it there. Damn. Have you ever just been like, this is every time. I've been, we went to, remember Santos, DJ Envy's not a bad DJ. I was going to say Envy. I legit He's was going to really say, oh, yo, Santos was a, lit. Nigga. What the fuck happened to Santos? Shout out to Santos. I don't Three know floors? The Times. I, that, that's, that's Three floors. That's a long time ago in NYC. Um, See, I was kicking it. Y'all only think I was DJ Envy's not a nah, bad DJ. Envy's nice. DJ yeah. Carmelo's not bad. When we went to um, Crimson, that club in... Um, oh, shit. Shout, shout out to him. Yeah. Um, what about Providence. They both DJ there. Oh, who the fuck is a DJ there? I don't Probably remember. Because, you know, but everybody depends, always like talking said, shit about New York. You know, New York, Bobby New York. Bobby and Jabba's, they do strictly reggae, and they fuck shit up in terms of reggae. I wasn't you know talking about Caribbean DJs. I'm not going to yeah, lie. They, they, but they, they I'm talking about for the, for the hip-hop. I'm sorry, my bad. You so so hip hop set. Yeah, that, that, I'm sorry. Only that that was my question. But I'm sorry, I'm not the biggest I, fan on Funk Flex. People claim that. His, oh, Funk Flex is trash. They claim his hip hop sets is great, the greatest in the world. That's what I've heard. I don't. He's not. He's not. That trash. man's trash. That man's trash. Who Funk Flex? He's not trash. Trash. Funk Tr- Flex. Trash. He's not trash. Y'all are bugging. I'm, I'll right. say that I don't, don't like do his sets that much. Yeah. Because he's he has more bad sets than me than good. He just scream over it and then slam the song into the next one, bro, and I don't like that. <laughs> he just full flip, boom, next song. I don't want to, boom, like, next song. I have, heard, I have heard sets that I've liked from him, but yeah. he hasn't. he's never wowed me. Okay. I'll say right. that about him. I don't want to give a few minutes to that, but I've, I've heard Envy like. But like, hip hop is like between. Really, yeah, it's yeah, probably. Yeah, it's I've heard Envy rock. It's Mr. And you be C. Like, it's probably and Mr. C. C. And then and then Envy. Wow. Yeah. That's but, cool. But the reason why is because Envy has a lot of them mixtapes. In his arsenal, in terms of hip hop, he right. studied, yeah, and he's from the era too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so of course. Okay, no, I'm scared. y'all ever hear DJ Clue live? <clears throat> Him too, but he's all right. Yeah. He's to me, he's all right. Okay, all right, I was just curious, you know but saying? yeah, all right. I don't know, man. Mr. C, I'm proud of him. Shout out to him for for walking this truth and owning it. Facts. Um, I just think that the the solicitor shit was stupid. Yeah, you, just that's what you, you know what I'm saying. You shouldn't be have to be locked up for but it was the shit you like was, to do. Remember, it was part of the times. He that's didn't want to get caught with tran- transsexual people at the time because remember, the world wasn't as accepting of transsexuals at the time. That's right. a, uh, yeah, that's also at that fact. time specifically. Right. You know well, saying? listen, man, that pretty much completes it. That's a fact. This nigga will about to go to bed. Yes, no. he is. <laughs> he tired as hell. Once again, a real quick. Please like and subscribe to the like YouTube Like and subscribe. Page. It's oh, been a done? great episode. Yes, yes, yes. Like and subscribe to the YouTube <laughs> page. Um, Follow us on Instagram. Yes. Mm-hmm. Follow us on Twitter. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Follow us on Facebook. Join the family page as well. Mm-hmm. Hit the uh, hit the bell for notifications. Ding, mm-hmm. ding, ding, ding. Every ding, time ding. we upload a video. That's a fact. Bring somebody, tag somebody. Bring them to church. Tell mm-hmm. somebody that you fuck tell with a friend, the show. Tell a friend to tell a friend to mm-hmm. tell a friend. Also, Y'all Jason got a new everything. single out called Water. Oh, Water is fire. It's out. Yes, 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 yes. That's lit. Please go straight. What a challenge as well. coming now. Yeah. A oh, what? What? Yeah. They peeing on people? Ah, right, we gonna talk about that. Is it peeing? What is that? Wow. We gonna talk about what? that. We gonna talk about that. That was a water Demo. challenge. Peeing on people. Go stream. He peeing. said it. I just over there. What is it called? Peeing on we, nobody. What is it called? Straight skate track. One skate one oh seven. Skate go stream. Yes, ma'am. Skate track one oh seven. He said It's lit. We got new music coming out. Skate tracks. You know what I meant. Skate one oh seven. We got music coming out too soon, right? Of course. And um yeah, Willow Wednesday's also got a new content coming soon, 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 soon. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. It's about peace, love, Island Man, haters. salute you, brothers. Yo, Wade, can we post the video with me with the with the the cup soups? Yeah, all right, cool, cool. Cup oh, soup video yeah, coming yeah. soon. Oh yeah, yeah, cup soups. Did we, the, did we do the? Did we do the? Word. So we got a video where we actually um go through the different ginger ales and see what's better, man. Oh, shit. I oh, yeah. forgot about that, that was shit. cool. Okay, yeah, that's coming soon. Yeah, we got more content it's, it's on the way, y'all. It's a vibe. Man, it's look for it. I holla. Soon, 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 soon. Little Wednesdays. Peace, love, and hate. See y'all next week.
Man, I just want to thank you so much for tuning into Willow Wednesdays. We love and appreciate facts, the support. Facts, facts. Yeah, yeah. If you ain't done so already, please hit the like and subscribe button for the YouTube page. Big facts. Yes, yes, yes. And click the bell for notifications. Mm -hmm. And make sure to join that family page, the Willow Wednesday family page on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Peace. Bow.